professor and my two junior. Saifule and Rafizi and I have this whole senior among them. So I am the last to speak and I will speak my mind. I do not represent any political party, neither do I subscribe to the idea of the professor that we must advance Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola election. That is not my idea. And as I speak today, okay, Saifuddin said we are 50%. No, we are 52%. We are the majority. We are the majority. We should be running this country, not United Malay National Organization. No. They are 47%. I'm speaking the loud and clear so that Najib and Rosma could hear this. And this is my message to them. And this is also my message to the special run here and to the IGP, to Zahid Hamidi, to everybody that we are the majority. Don't take no shit from the minority. Yes. Yes. I'm not interested in Coca Cola, Pepsi Cola. Conservative Party, Labour Party. Democrat, Republican. No, I'm not interested in that. I belong to a different school. I'm interested not in changing whether it's Anwar Ibrahim or Najib. I'm not interested. I am for structural changes in this country. That is more important than personality. Yes, we could see what is happening today. As the professor has said, a lot of the election sent on personality. Yes, at this juncture, yes, at this juncture, at historical development of this country, personality does play a role. But in the final analysis, it is about structure. I was member of the steering committee of policy. Let me tell you, Suruhan Jaya Pilihan Raya Malaysia is doing a con job. We have been cheated time and time again. I told public in my public forum, public like this, and in my drama all throughout the country, as member of the Steering Committee and as an NGI, that we will never win the election using the same structural system. Remember, my dear friends, we are in this nice room, but we are a third world country. A third world country has a characteristic of a third world country. Never ever forget that. Before the election, there was this dream about some of my friends were thinking about hanging parliament. Oh, they will be hung parliament. It's a 50-50. Pakatan Rakyat and Barisan. My dear friend, this is a third world country. There's no such thing as hang parliament. They hang parliamentarian. <laughs> That's what you have in the third world country. That's what you have in the country. Let me expose to you one simple thing. You all know that the enable ink is not an enable ink, it's bulema karna. Enable ink, enable ink. Okay. Do you know how in all this global, from Latin America, India, Pakistan, People go and vote. They voted first, and then toward the end, they dip their hand to show. The whole idea of the ink is to prove that you have voted and you cannot vote anymore. But in Malaysia, no. You dip your hand first. You dip your hand first. And why do they do that? When I argue it, the SPR say, we cannot do nothing now. Because we have given our pekerja workshop, bengkel telah dilakukan. This is the reason. They could have just moved the table to the end, isn't it? No, this is the cheating. And this is one of the example of the cheating per Nipuan that's been done in this. And for you, I'm sure, you have this illusion that you could change the gun. No, there's no way. I'm surprised. I'm so, I will be surprised. I'm happy. Rafizi is contradictory. He knew it. In this third world country, in Malaysia in particular, if election can change anything, they will ban the election itself. This is true. Look, 
look, they want to reintroduce the ISA. They want, no, they will. Anything. I mean, his people have been banned left, right, and center. This is a third world country. The idea, the idea about proposal by prof this professor is that we should have this so-called Coca-Cola Pepsi Colonica. No. This is an American project. I've seen it. When I was in, in Bangladesh, the EC gave 400 million euro for the Bangladesh to have an electoral process. Yeah? Have the picture of people go there. This is all an illusion, an illusion to give you the idea that you came from Democrat to Republican, from Pakataraya to Barisan National. No, do not have this illusion. It is about structural changes, demand structural changes. Therefore, we demanded structural changes should take place in the Suruhan Dalai Changing the two jokers out there will not change any process. It is about structural changes. Therefore, I have always proposed before we could have a free and fair election, we could overthrow the government first. And everybody got scared because the moment the government say menggulingkan kerajaan salah, my dear friend, menggulingkan kerajaan adalah kerja Rafizi. Menggulingkan kerajaan adalah kerja Anwar Ibrahim. Menggulingkan kerajaan adalah kerja Tian Chua. To overthrow the government is the work of all politicians. Najib has successfully menggulingkan kerajaan Niza di Perak. True or not? True or not? So why are you so scared when they say menggulingkan kerajaan to overthrow the We act. All I was born in this country with one purpose only to menggulingkan United Malay National Organization. <laughs> Rafizi, after eight months, he is half believing, half not believing in parliamentary democracy. <laughs> yes. And Saif Uday still believes. Kisha Uday writes, the senior guy does not believe at all. Because it is a con job. The parliamentary election is a con job. After the Turun protest, the IGP made a statement. The statement said categorically that mereka ini bercita-cita untuk mengurangkan keyakinan rakyat ke atas demokrasi. The people who came out the demonstration on the eve of the New Year Eve was trying to erode the confidence of the public against democracy. Half of the statement is betul. Half of the statement is correct. Yes. The aim is to erode the confidence of the people, but not on democracy, but on United Malay National Organization. That's what we should be doing. Mengurangkan keyakinan rakyat terhadap United Malay National. That's what we are doing. Therefore, I will have, I will have a chance to do the translation. I mean, Professor here have come out, I haven't read this book. There was another book just coming up soon from Bursik. It was their research, simultaneously they are doing similar like this and I had the chance to translate from English to the Malay version It has yet to be printed by Bolshev I just cited one incident in Sabah I hope you know this word Taiko or Gedebe A group of Taiko or Gedebe in one of the uh, in one of the constituencies, came to the tempat mundi. They came there and they sat. They sat. They basically sat all the SPR people, and they sit down there and they run the election. And this, my dear professor, this is a third world country. <laughs> this is not about New York or whatever it is where people vote. I disagree with you. Therefore, I think we should propose. No, this is a third world country. Like Travis said, if they don't like you, they hang you. And sometimes, if they don't like you, they... If they, if they don't, sometimes, sometimes, if they don't like you, they see for you. <laughs> So this is, I have to remind people here, 
do not have this illusion. Never have this illusion that we are third world country just because we have a KLCC Twin Tower. Just because we have McDonald's and, Mac and Kentucky Fried Farm. No. We are a third world country like any other third world country. It has the characteristic. And also, five more minutes. <laughs> and I also believe, as our friend Rafiz Yev said, in the very near future, the contention will be about race, about religion. This is a plan, a systematic plan. It's an agenda to divide the people. The whole idea about throwing out reintroduction, the Internal Security Act, is just for a pre-planting in case they need it. They could have just bombed somewhere. They could have just planted somewhere in the mosque or in the cathedral, in the church or in the surah. Then they will say, there you are, I told you, we need an essay, tak jaya, aku dah cakap, tak perlu, aku lah mati. <laughs> See, this is what is going on now. They are preparing the landscape. They are preparing the landscape. So, for you people, a lot of you English middle class speaking, obviously here, we are all English middle class speaking, besides me, it's a poor class without anything. So, so do not have that illusion, really, do not have that illusion, because they are preparing. And we could see, in a very short period, there will be more and more repressive. Yes, yes, Prime Minister Najib had made a very fundamental statement today, Kangkong is very cheap. <laughs> I mean, that's why, I mean, Professor, that is a clear example of a third world Prime Minister. Harga Kangkong murah. So, you understand? So, I mean, you cannot have this illusion. I'm sorry, I mean, I have to ridicule these people because they have no other way. I'm sorry, Saifuddin, this is your senior. <laughs> Okay, so, so that's the last time I asked Rafizi to give him PKR in the application form. Now I decided not to. <laughs> because I think Saifuddin is doing a very good job outside the party circuit. Yes. <laughs> I, I honestly, Saifuddin, from deep in my heart, you are a real Tara Democrat. And he came from a very important town, a revolutionary town called Tamaro. <laughs> yes. Where the Communist Party of Malaya set up their political school first in this country. And this is the child of Tang <laughs> Okay, okay, thank you very much.